Hello, good day. Welcome to the Night of Truth. I am Bishop Emmanuel McLaurin, coming from Bethel Tabernacle, and we are sharing on this knowledge the truth about the will of God, walking in the will of God Almighty. You and I, as children of God, we are called to find the will of God and to walk in it. When we speak about the will of God, we pray, what is it that God wants for us as individuals? What is the will of God for a, a church, uh, a nation? What is the will of God? And overall, for a ministry, what is it that God wants in your individual life? What is it that he has already ordained before time that he would fulfill? We must understand that according to Psalms 139, that the Bible says, before we were formed in our mother's womb, God knew us. And the Bible explains to us that God um, wrote our path and our parts in his books. So, so it is interesting that God has a plan, is that there's a divine will that God has for us. And, and he wants us to walk, find it so we can walk in it. And so sometimes people live life aimlessly. And one of our great leaders of our time, the deceased Miles Monroe, says that the greatest tragedy in life is a life without purpose and a life without knowing what is the will of God, what is it that God wants you to accomplish and where he wants you to, to take you. And so we need to open ourselves to finding the will of God. One of the first ways you begin by finding the will of God is, is, is the Bible says you've got to search the scriptures. Uh, is in it you know that you have eternal life. That as we search the scriptures, God will begin to unfold to us. First of all, his first primary real will for us is that we'll come into relationship with God through Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross. So that's the pr first primary um, thing that God wants for us is that we come into relationship and fellowship with God. Because remember, the Bible is very clear with this, that man fell short of the glory of God because the Bible says it's all of sin and come short of the glory of God and we have come short of God's grace and blessing. And so we, we thank God. Thank you again for joining us here today. All of you that have joined us, Benny Means, thank you for joining us. And we pray that God will bless you as you join us. And all of you that have joined here, may the goodness of God be with you. And we'll continue to pray with you as we continue in this telecast and broadcast. So it is important to understand that what God is doing in this, in the season and time, that, that God wants us to find the will of God. So one of the first things is that it's the will of God that our soul be saved. The Bible says that it's the will of God that none would perish, but all will come into repentance, that will come into the understanding that God has for us. And so it is important that we find the will of God. This is the will of God, that you and I come into knowledge. Because the Bible says, as many as receive him, to them he give power to become the sons of God. And the Bible tells us that God made it possible that you and I can find the will of God and walk in the will and the purpose that God has for us. It is important to know that God, in all that he is doing for us, that if we do not know the will of God, if we don't know what God has purpose towards us, we can live our life aimlessly and never enter into what God has for us. So the first thing, you need to come into relationship with him so you can know the primary reason that God has you on earth is to love him, to serve him, and to be with him in the end. But sometimes God has some specific things that he wants to accomplish in our lives. And into this, to this regard, he gives us gifts and abilities and talents so that we can walk into the specific calling and the will the, the, the will of God. And the, the, the Bible tells us that God wants us it is the will of God that we prosper and be in health and grow and develop. It is the will of God that we find um, God's fullness in our lives, that we're able to represent God on planet Earth. It is the will of God for us that you and I will actually be used as an instrument of God to bring the good news of God, but also to, to bring the kingdom of God on this planet Earth. So it is the will of God for us to, to be part of this kingdom. The Bible says in so doing that God has made us partakers of divine nature, that we should reflect the glory of God and the presence of God, because it's the will of God that through us, through the church, that even principalities and powers would come to understand that the excellency of the power is not of them, but it's of God, that they would come into the revelation and the understanding of divine wisdom and grace. So it is important to notice, to experience this, and to walk in the favor and the grace of God. So if you, God wants us to come into the knowledge of his will, to come to know him. Uh, what is the will of God? What is the will of God for your life, for your, for your, for your home, your family? The will of God for us as an all in, in totality is that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. This is the will of God concerning us, that God wants us to prosper in everything that we do, that we do, we are not lacking in nothing. So you need to find the will of God. You 
need to find what is it that God has for you. First of all, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to find and come into knowledge of Jesus Christ. First, secondly, you need to realize that God has a specific thing that he wrote in his book concerning you that he wants to bring to pass in your time, that you should not leave this earth without fulfilling the will of God. You should not leave planet earth without coming into the revelation of God's will. Uh, and welcome, Alan, for joining us. Uh, Fenda Alet, thank you for joining us today. We trust that God will bless you. Thank you for joining. And we are talking about the will of God, the purpose of God, coming into the understanding of the will of God because it's the will of God that you prosper. You prosper in every way. What God wants you to do. And I want you to know that God wants you to prosper in every possible way. God wants you to prosper in your family, prosper in education, prosper in, in finance, prosper in your job. God wants you to be the head and not the tail. It is the plan of God that you should walk in that level of prosperity and you enjoy the freedom that God has for you. So he wants you to prosper. But he also is the will of God that you be in health. And if you're sick in your body at this moment, you need to know that God has already sent his son to pay the price for you on the cross of Calvary. That the Bible tells us very clearly that he was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. So it is the will of God that we walk in health and walk in the healing and the grace of God. So it is divine, the divine will of God that you find health and healing through Jesus Christ. Listen, it's not the will of God that you walk with sickness and these sickness kill us. Um, if we have to die eventually, as long as we live on the earth, we will go one time. And sometimes death, death comes in through sickness and stuff. But it's not the general will of God that you should be just in sickness and not enjoy life. God wants you to be healed. And the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. And Peter mentioned that by his stripes we were healed. So God's will is for you to be healed. So that God desires that you be in health. But also not only physical health, but God wants you to have spiritual health. It is the will of God that you have spiritual health. That you are in relationship with God. You are growing in your Christian grace and experience. You are praying. You are seeking God. And you are sharing your faith and touching the lives of people as you go. It is the will of God for this to be done also in your life. That you will not be fruitless but fruitful. That you can grow in God. So God wants you to have physical health. Um, your body being healed, delivered, and set free, but he also wants you to have spiritual health, that you can grow and develop, that you would be um, like this tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruits in due season, that it leaves will not river, but it will flourish and bring forth. So that's what God wants for you. So it is the will of God that you walk in prosperity, also financial breakthrough. God wants us, Jesus prayed and says, uh, to, he taught rather his disciples to pray, and he says, when you pray, pray our Father who art in heaven. And he says, when you pray this, pray that God will give you the daily bread. It's God's um, plan for mankind. Um, is that they would be satisfied and taken care of. If you look at all through the earth, God has made provision. Um, there might not be equity in division of resources in the earth, but yet God wants everybody to have and that they would prosper and, be in, 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 and prosper in financial business and stuff that you put your hands to. So it's the will of God. If God puts a business in your heart, it's the will of God to prosper you in that business so you can grow and develop. So you need to come into the knowledge of his will, come to the revelation of God's will, and so you can walk in health, in prosperity, and in the breakthrough of God. It is the will of God, lastly, that you find yourself in being an instrument of grace, an instrument of reconciliation, because God has ordained that we should be, has given to us rather the ministry of reconciliation so that you and I can reconcile men back to God through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the teaching of the Word of God. It is the plan of God that He would reconcile us and bring us unto Himself. So it is important that you find yourself in the will of God to share your faith, reach out to people to the lost, and bring them into the kingdom of God, because it is His will to reconcile humanity through us, through you and I, so that we, people can come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So it's very important to understand here the will of God for you, God's will for, first of all, that all men be saved and all would come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, that none would be lost. This is the will of God. God doesn't want to send nobody to hell. This is not God sending anybody to hell anyway. It is because man's rebellion and they join with the devil and his angels, they find themselves going to hell and to a lost eternity. It is not the plan of God. It is the will of God that we walk into life and life 
life more abundantly. So it is important to understand. Remember, it is also the will of God that you would you would find yourself into health and into walking in the health uh, that God has for you in your body, also sp- in, uh, spiritual health, that you would know God's grace and experience His power, that God would prosper you also financially, whatever you need. It is the will of God. So I want you to find the will of God in this season because God has a master plan for your life. He wants to bring you into it. Remember, He wrote your path in his books and your part. And remember, before you came to planet Earth, God already decided what he wanted you to be and what he wants you to be uh, to accomplish. So today I want to pray with you if you're listening to me. Um, you don't have to stay without without what God has already made provision for you. You can come into by faith. As you trust God, God will open the door for you. And as I pray for you today, I want you to believe God that God is going to shift things into alignment and cause you to know his will experience his will and walk in his will as he calls you to walk in this will that you yourself would see the fruit of righteousness being manifest in your life in many ways beyond the ordinary that great grace will come to you and minister to you so i want to pray with you today remember you are called to walk in the will of god you are destined for greatness and allow god to lead you into that greatness i want to pray with you whatever you believe in god for let's trust god to do something awesome in your life let's trust god to shift your world around and call you to experience the liberty that only he can give. Father, in the name that is above every other name, in the name where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, I pray God by your Holy Spirit that you would minister to every heart and every soul. And in the name of Jesus, you would touch, bring them to the knowledge of the will. And if if, if there's somebody here that is listening that does not know Jesus Christ, well, let the Holy Spirit convict them and bring them to the bleeding side of Calvary. Uh, let them receive you as Lord and Savior and come into the knowledge of your son. Father, we pray, God, that you would open doors, bring health and healing to bruised and wounded souls and cause grace, cause your children to grow in this spiritual life and cause the mystical, the grace of God to rise. So we break all assignments, every plan, let it be destroyed and let your grace comes in now in Jesus' name. Bless them, we pray, and strengthen in Jesus' name. Uh, so we're talking about, we have been sharing with you about the will of God, the purpose of God. I trust today that you will put your faith in God and find that will. Seek Him as you search the word of God. Let God reveal to His purpose and His will for you. Remember, if this has been a blessing to you, you can share it with your friends, share the video with your friends, and tune in for us again next Sunday, to us with us next Sunday as we share with you the goodness of God. <music>